um, the word that should not be spoken. I feel weird that you can like see me right here. There we go. Okay, anyways. Hi, YouTube. You know what time it is. It's Corona time. Hey, it's Corona time right now. And I can't say what time it is because YouTube's being like weird about people uploading videos with the whole thing going on that everyone knows about, you know. I've just been honestly kind of doing what I do every single day, which is staying at home. And I'm so excited to show you guys what I've been doing and what I really do honestly every single day. Really no changes have been made. I really don't leave my house that often at all ever. If I leave the house, I'm either going out once in a blue moon or going to my boyfriend's house and then staying at his house and doing nothing. So I've been taking this shit seriously. I hope that everyone else is because like the sooner that we're all just like locked inside of our houses, the sooner the shit gonna get fixed i hope so i've already made my little coffee this morning and for some reason i just woke up feeling like everything is okay i have so many like cool exciting things coming to talk about my merch being one of them i designed this merch i ended up not really well i liked it a lot but when i showed my friends they were like what does this mean what does that mean and i was like okay so i have to like fix this whole merch because people didn't get it so whatever i was like okay like i have to fix that plus like the colors were very like just like nudes like black white tan you know which is what i do wear every single day and grays oh my god the gray one is so good like i'm still gonna release that merch but probably in like the fall but now that it's like spring i have really cool merch hopefully coming soon i've been like designing it for like a couple of weeks just like literally on like an ipad and on like pick monkey and trying to do like the best that i could myself to design it so i can send it to other people to like officially put it out <laughs> i'm so sorry that it's been taking so long i really thought that it was gonna come out a long time ago but people didn't get it so also i think in a couple of days you guys are gonna see something really exciting me and michael have like an announcement or something to say the least also a lot of been happening like a lot of been happening and i'll tell you about it so our good friend yayan moved in to our house he moved into mario's old room because mario obviously now lives in boca raton in florida which he loves so we've had an open room and our friend yayan has been like just missing us so much we missed him so much so he just officially moved in i think yesterday two days ago now i don't know he's still like getting everything set and put into his room so that's really awesome he is one of my best friends ever from vegas i've known him for like how many years? What year is it? I've probably known him for like five years, which is like almost as long as I've known like everyone else. And he's like always been like a brother to me. So it's like so awesome to like have him here. And he's like best friends with my boyfriend, Michael. Like a lot of good has been happening, even though I know a lot of bad been happening, you know? Also, Isabella is moving out, which is awesome because she has this friend group that literally loves everything that she loves. There's a group of girls that live together that are like all about like fashion and makeup and like healthy stuff, which is like so like her. And they're just gonna have their cute little house, their little like fashion house and do like the little fashion thing over there. So she's moving out now, actually like as we speak. And then Amari has honestly had the smallest room in the house and we have all kind of like felt bad about it. So he's gonna be taking her room. And then that leaves kind of like a little office space, maybe like a gym you know like a little extra room that we get to do whatever with oh my god also yayan has a little puppy rain that i never really got to see in vegas for various reasons um rain's mom didn't like me so i didn't get to see his dog ever but we brought her in she instantly clicked with my cousin's dog that also lives with me my cousin lives here too yeah there's a lot of people living in this house but my cousin has a dog that's like just turned three and then rain his dog is like almost three she's like two and a half we were a little worried because they're both girls so we were like oh fuck like hopefully like this goes well we brought yayan's dog in rain and she like instantly clicked with kaya like they are like sisters like they're literally inseparable the first night they were like playing running around the pool like having so much fun and then finally it was like time for us to go to bed and my cousin went into her room and then yayan's dog was still like in the house with us in the living room and like yayan's dog was looking out of the window towards the other dog's room meanwhile the other dog was doing the same thing like looking out into the living room window like it was so cute was, like they literally missed each other like instantly Instantly, they love each other so it's really nice having a couple puppies in the house during this whole thing so it's kind of keeping us a little occupied but yeah that was a lot oh my god we're also having someone come in our house today to install a king in water which i'll talk about later it's like really really like amazing water for your skin for your health like for literally everything it's like life-changing so since it's really hard to find water literally anywhere which is just crazy to say we found another solution so that's gonna be happening today I, i'll probably show you guys a little bit of that i'm super excited i'm probably gonna like maybe do my makeup for once <gasps> I have not worn makeup in like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. My makeup has just been packed in my makeup bag since playlist. So 
Yeah, my skin's... That is not BO, swear to God. What is that though? Oil stain maybe? Okay, let's see what today has in store for us. This pandemic isn't stopping me from living my life and it shouldn't stop you from living your life, but it should stop you from leaving your house for now. Okay, so I look like a mess, but it's totally fine because no one's gonna see other than you guys and whoever's home, which is pretty much no one other than me and my cousin Brittany and Yain's asleep. So Brittany and I, we just put on some little like shorts and little sports bras so we can go lay out and get some vitamin D because it's the first day that it's like actually sunny out. Not first day, but like first day that I've been like awake for. I'm gaining some weight because I'm not moving, but weight is good. I need to gain a little bit of weight and I need it to go to my ass. So I'm gonna pretend like it's going there. So I'm happy about it, okay? I also can't believe I literally almost just went out there without putting on some um, sunscreen at least on my face protect the goods am i right i look like terrible right now sorry okay now let's go on the roof okay so i've waited like so long for this plane to like go away but it's just been like circling my house or something like what are you doing am i the problem like are you checking up on me sir can you please go away i'm trying to vlog are you for real sorry i like can't open my eyes i'm one of those people like when you take photos like i'm the one squinting always because my eyes are just so sensitive <gasps> to the sun Okay, so um, Brittany and I just like not tan, but like laid out. Probably didn't get any color at all. So now I'm going to start disinfecting my room a little bit. Like it needs to be like deep clean, you know? Like I've kept it clean, but I haven't like really disinfected it much. So I'm gonna start with moving this love sack because I still haven't gotten rid of it and no one's gonna come get it now. So I'm gonna go put it in one of our dungeons. We have a few dungeons in this house just because I need some extra space in my room for what you'll see probably in my next video so yeah um wish me luck this thing weighs so much weight so this should be interesting okay wish me luck i'm gonna try to move this love sack and start disinfecting my room which you should be doing too maybe not moving your love sack but like disinfecting your room <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I've been cleaning the out of my room. You know, I got the love sack downstairs. Sorry if it's really loud in here. Also, I know the angle is fucking terrible, but I just decided to vlog. Are you going or like what, bitch? You have a red light. Mine's green as hell. Like green as ever. Also have my gloves on. Yeah, I got the love sack down in one of the dungeons. It took me forever, but I also didn't want to ask for help from anyone because I'm really trying to keep myself from any contact from anyone literally at all, even inside my house because you never know, dude. And especially with this thing going on, you don't know if you have it or not. So it's better to be safe than sorry, period. I am now on my way to CVS to see if they have some cleaning supplies. <sighs> Uh, my room has needed a deep cleaning and I don't want to use everyone else's products because by the end of today they would be empty. This is my last hurrah, <laughs> I guess. Also, there are so many people out in like the neighborhoods and like walking around this dude right here. Like almost every other house has like someone outside of it in my neighborhood and like everyone's walking their dogs and walking their kids right now. Which I'm like, okay, cool. But also like stay the f away. <laughs> Cause if you give it to that neighbor, then that neighbor's gonna give it to the next neighbor and then they're all gonna come back to me. Uh... So that's where I'm at. If there's any survivors, I'm gonna be one of them, I swear. I'm kind of crazy when it comes to parking. I'm always like the type of person that backs in and does it, you know, flawlessly. Okay, CBS time. So a little update. I got a lot of like laundry detergent and like laundry bleach and some stuff to like clean my floors because I needed to clean my floors. So like I had like a full ass shopping cart at CVS, right? And like I hear like this couple like looking at me and like talking shit. And then like they're walking out and he goes like to his girlfriend like, oh, you know, like coronavirus can get be like more spread through like your mouth and eyes more than like your hands or whatever. Cause like I'm wearing gloves. But yeah, he's like, his girlfriend like look at that girl like she's getting all this like cleaning stuff and she's not even wearing a mask <laughs> and i'm like you don't know what i'm shopping for i'm literally just getting like everyday cleaning sh like yeah i'm a little paranoid about the thing but like not enough to put on my mask so you shut the f up i gave them such a dirty look because he was like oh look at that girl and like she looked back and i was like I hate people. You don't know what people are doing every day, so like, shut up. Like, literally shut up. I'm doing laundry and cleaning my floors. Like, die. Not even gonna lie, I'm still a little peeved by that poor bitch. Sorry, I'm still pissed. Like, they also weren't wearing masks or gloves, so at least I have like one point over you, you 
Ugh. So anyways, how's your guys' day? Mine's great. Sorry. People are just so ignorant and f***ing mean for no reason. Which is why it brought out the mean in me. Like, ew, I hate that. Why wouldn't she, like, just, like, smile back at me? Instead, she was, like, laughing at me. Like, bitch, I will laugh at you. I could laugh. I have a lot of reasons I could laugh at you, and I'll name them. Bitch. Okay, well, I'm almost home, so I'm gonna f*** the f*** off. Wow, okay. I feel like I'm always checking in with you guys, like, over here for some reason. I feel like I spend most of my time at this makeup desk. Like, I have a work desk, and I have, like, a makeup desk, and I'm just always at this one. But I haven't really done my makeup in... Oh, I told you guys already, like, since, like, playlist. But, yeah, I've been, like, cleaning nonstop, and that was basically all of my day yesterday, so that's why I didn't really, like, check in. I was literally just cleaning all day, actually scrubbing, like, my walls. But that's not really because of everything going on. It's because of my announcement in the next video. I've also been, like, feeling, like, really good lately i'm wanting to wake up in the morning and like kind of like motivated to like you know film and edit and stuff which is exciting and i think it's like a lot to do with like my vitamins i obviously take like my simple health vitamins and then i also take this like prosatin feel your best every day the dietary supplement for positive mental health so i take these and then my little pack of like simple health vitamins and i'm kind of thriving it's nice take your vitamins you guys like what is this eyebrow doing i got my eyebrows laminated a couple weeks ago before playlist and then i got them like tinted a little bit that was amazing but you're not supposed to wash them kind of like as if it was like microbladed so like they stay up longer but i was like traveling to playlist and everything so i was like i need to wash my face like i'm like going on planes and everything it only lasted like a couple of days but it was so worth it okay so i saw this tiktok should we do it i think we should where this girl takes like floss and then puts it in concealer and kind of like lines up her brows of like where everything should be so i'm gonna go grab some floss and let's do it let's try it to be quite honest i don't know how people put their hair up without flipping their head over like I can only put my hair up by flipping it over and maybe that's why it looks like shit. I look like a mom right now, hold on. Okay, so technically it says that my eyebrow should start there, which is a little awkward for me. Also like, I couldn't even get it right there. I put way too much concealer on this. This is going horribly for me. Like my eyebrow's supposed to end there and it just doesn't. And then the arch is supposed to be like where your pupil is. How's your day? This is f***ing dumb. Like you know you're and bored when this is what you're doing like from tiktok that you saw at 5 a.m like eight months ago oh this one was more accurate like that one actually ended where my eyebrow ended oh i just did it wrong to be completely honest i didn't put it close enough the first time okay so basically what i'm getting at after all of this is that my eyebrows are perfect <laughs> i'm gonna go throw this away and get some makeup removed. i'm stupid all right while I'm cleaning up this like concealer, I'm gonna clean up like the extra and kind of leave like the outline that I did, which you can hardly see and I can honestly hardly see. While I'm cleaning this up, let me just have like a little rant about this micellar cleansing water. Is it just me or did this used to not work at all? I remember using this, one of these like first apartment things that we lived in. I like specifically remember using that because some YouTuber said it was good. And I was like, why isn't it working at all? Like is mine like broken? And then I got like another one and it didn't work. And I saw that I think like Tana had some in her bathroom and I was like, okay, so even she's using it. Like, am I just getting like faulty ones? Like mine isn't working. It's not getting any of my makeup off. And I was like really confused. Honestly, it's not working right now, which is kind of funny. But I remember it not working at all. People said it was like so good at getting like waterproof mascara off and everything. And then whenever I used it, it would never get any of my mascara off. And I was like, what the f is going on? And then recently I saw, fast forward five years, I saw, I think it was like Kourtney Kardashian using like this one or like one like this. And I was like, that shit doesn't work there's no way so i finally bought it again you know five years later i'm like maybe the formula changed and sure enough i think it did because i actually like really like it and i've never liked it before please comment down below if you had the same experience because i'm kind of like freaking out about this for a while and i've like wanted to ask you guys there's just like never been like the right time and now i am youtuber and it's working for me so maybe it's just you have to be a youtuber for it to work i don't know dude. okay so last time i talked to you i was like doing my eyebrows it, and then obviously me staring at a mirror and my eyebrows led to me staring at my pores and you know I just kind of went to town not gonna lie But I used some like gauze to pop my pimples instead of like just like going like bare fingers I was using like gauze as like a cushion and also to keep it kind of cleanly because like I know that's what they do When you get like a real facial so yeah, I finished that washed my face exfoliated and now I have this little mask on from Generation clay. It's this ultraviolet brightening purple clay mask. I look like a volleyball player right now <laughs> with this headband on and like whenever I put on mask Masks, I like usually like to steam it so it like really gets into my pores, you know? And it also just like feels so nice. Pamper yourself, why not? We're stuck at home. Let's make good use of it, you know? Hi, 
Hi guys, another new day. The Kangen guy came back to finish up setting the Kangen up. So yeah, we're gonna go do that. Maybe he'll tell us a little bit about it because I suck at explaining things and you guys already know this. So let's go bring him in. Okay guys, so he's here. He's back, he's finishing up the machine. I'll give you guys a quick rundown how it works. This is our flagship product. Basically it has eight plates. So every machine, basically you can look at them as like different motors. So they have different amounts of plates in them. Those titanium platinum dip plates is what caused uh, the antioxidants in the water. The biggest difference between the bottled alkaline water what these machines are producing is yes, they're both alkaline, but it's how you achieve that conclusion. Most bottled water companies are gonna add calcium, magnesium, potassium, mm -hmm. uh, sodium bicarbonate to chemically change the water. This is through electrolysis. <laughs> like, yeah. So basically it's it's alkaline water, but not just alkaline water, it's alkaline water rich with antioxidants. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people are like, hey, alkaline water is bullshit. It's, it's not worth your money, they'll spend your money on it. Well, it depends on how you achieve that. Those plates are gonna shock this water, restructure the water, and put antioxidants back into the water. Yep. So I'm gonna let you guys know how this is working for us. I'll let you guys in on the tea. I haven't gotten a chance to like actually try it out, but I'll keep you guys updated. Also, if you come over to my channel, I'm gonna like, we're gonna fix my skin with this water. <laughs> Literally yeah, with this water. I'm gonna so. leave the link down in the description below. If you guys wanna check this out, you definitely should. They also have like payment plans and everything, so it makes it a lot easier for like a lot of people to get one. A lot of people know. will be getting congress around here and I'll name them. Highly recommend. Okay, bye.